Alrighty then. Hello, everybody. Uh, let me hit a button there. Okay. Ne uh, you've never uh, hit a live screen notification to be graded with an ad immediately. I have no idea. I don't know how this thing works. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's go. So. Ew, yes. Ahem. <clears throat> Spelljammer Pirates of Realm Space, the space RPG. We're going to get started right now. So, CD Spell, which is the spell directory, then uh, we need to, we're going to run a quick uh, cheat program. Why would you run a cheat program? Because the game is notoriously buggy. We're going to be using the Game Wizard disc today. You can see the stains. This is, I grabbed this from the Internet Archive. Someone has a stained disc. That's great. But, uh, we're, yeah, we're going to use that. We're going to use the Game Wizard. So, GW. And and there we go. Game Wizard is on. Uh, th thanks, Justin Mon. Uh, uh, see, uh, we, we technically own him 50 bucks. So, um, my goodness, my goodness. Okay, CLS. And uh, that should do it. We're basically good to go. Yes. Uh, so, we're going to type SJ for spell, so spe spell jammer. Yes. Cybertech. Strategic simulations. Present. Spelljammer. Pirates of Realm Space. Dungeons and Dragon. Advanced. Second edition. Okay. First things first, we're gonna create a captain. Warning, this deletes your player. That's fine. So, we're gonna go with a space wizard. Space wizards are best. Fuck, I accidentally canceled it out. Yeah, yeah. C create captain, one more time. Jeez, continue. I, I fucked it up. I canceled out by accident. Okay, so yeah, cleric, fighter, ranger, paladin, mage, and thief. Clerics typically um, uh, power ships through space. It's kind of crazy, but we're going with a mage. Yes, and uh, we're, we're gonna be, whenever you wanna be an asshole sometimes and you wanna be a good guy other times, you pick chaotic neutral. Noting that, of course, um, there are plenty of other options. I typically like to play uh, like neutral good or uh, lawful neutral. I typically like to run those, but uh, today we're going to be uh, the the asshole alignment, uh, chaotic neutral, which justifies any of our decisions. Now uh, I'm you know there are different races obviously human halfling half elf, uh, gnome elf dwarf. What we're going to do is we're going to go with human, and we're going to go with male. This should say, uh, like, abolish gender, please. But, uh, male it is. Yes. It's got my name already. Very good. Okay, so now we gotta roll some dice. Let's see here. Reroll. Uh-huh. My goodness, where did I find this game to purchase? I, I own the box. And the floppy disk. Seriously. Let me see if I have it right here. Uh, no, it doesn't, doesn't look like that. Wait, wait, it might be behind everything else. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might have the uh, box back here somewhere. Uh, no, that's the box for Prey. And I don't mean Arcane's Prey, I mean the other Prey. I have the, uh, the, the original tin for the, the original Prey. Not, not, not Arcane's Prey, but the, the original one. I'm trying, hold on a second. Uh, jeez. Give, give me a sec. I might have it around here somewhere. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like it. Fuck. Okay. I, I, I risked it all, but I, I don't have the box here. Wait, wait, I do. I do. I do have the box. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. I, I need to move a bunch of uh, dubious, like, Nintendo Amiibos around. And, and, like, like, Dark Pit, for instance. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. I gotta, I gotta get back behind all of this junk. 
here we go. Ahem. Spells. Spelljammer, Pirates of Realm Space. I have to blow the dust off this box. Okay, let's let's open it up. And inside we have a manual for Dune 2000. <laughs> okay. Uh here here's the actual manual. Uh right here. Uh yes. And uh there, there's a bunch of miscellaneous junk in here. Like I have a ton of items. Oh boy. But but yeah, yeah, yeah. So um yeah, I spell jam Genius! Uh, Spelljammer, Pirates of Realm Space. This is, this is what we're, we're playing today. Okay. It is a space RPG. That's right. Holy shit. Okay. As I was saying, we need to reroll our stats. Yes. Holy fuck. Alright. Reroll. We're rerolling our stat. Oh, awesome. We, we, we got it. Okay. Uh, constitution. This, this is a good, this is a good grab. This is a good roll. Holy shit. 15, uh, 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, our strength and dex are kind of lacking, but, um, I mean, we, we got this in terms of intelligence, wisdom, and, and constitutional at once. I'm very happy about that. We are chaotic neutral. Uh, let me go. Uh, let's see what else we got. So, uh, we're gonna start studying some spells. We need magic missile. Yes, that's okay. Next, we need a uh, uh, stinking cloud. Stinking cloud's gonna be the MVP for this game. Just you wait and see. Next, uh, lightning bolts. I think we can only yeah we can only have one lightning bolt, but that's fine. And we don't have access to four or five spells yet. We'll get those as we level up. I need to move my microphone over so it's like right next to me instead of really far away. We also have an air conditioner running in the background. So there's like this latent hum, but the air conditioner is keeping me from dying. So this is, this is fine. All right, we got it. Magic. So what we've memorized is four magic missiles, two stinking clouds and a lightning bolt. You can tell what we're gonna be doing. Okay. And that should do it as for items specifically. Uh, we don't really need to mess with our items at the moment, but it just kind of tells us what we have at the yeah. In the beginning, we've got a quarter staff, some robes, uh, a cloak, and a spell book, as well as 700 gold pieces. This whole person in this game, yes, but I don't have it. Doesn't mean other people won't get it, but a whole person also won't work for a whole like group of enemies. It'll only work for one enemy specifically. My goodness. Uh, let's see here. Bam. Okay. Right. Let's go ahead, okay? Like most of the inhabitants of the Forgotten Realms, you had always thought your world unique. One of its kind. So a great shock came to you when you found out that you were not alone, that your world was but a, a speck of sand in the giant sea of darkness, that there was such a wide diversity of alien races and planets teeming with life, that your world seemed dull and uninteresting by comparison. This knowledge came to you one evening in the form of a drunken captain by a quiet dockside in the ta tavern of Waterdeep. Uh, first, you smiled politely, shook your hand dis head in disbelief. Then, uh, you heard tall tales of seafaring men before, uh, but, uh, either Sailor was a madman or a liar to a magnitude you'd never encountered before. Uh, what you found, uh, odd was Sailors around the tavern, uh, and nodded their heads in approval of these tales. Yes, indeed. All right. Upon reaching the docks, your suspicions were confirmed when you saw a, uh, weather-beaten galleon tied up to a pier. Uh, even to your practiced eye, you could discern no difference between... Uh, the other galleons tied up nearby. The captain was as good as his word, and uh, you had to admit um, whatever else he'd lied about, um, he, he had told the truth about the wine. Uh, shortly after the third glass, uh, you you felt the um, uh, strange vibration, the planks under your feet. You put your uh, head to be, oh, well, vibration, da 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 da, -da. Okay, I, I, the, the, the thing's fucking with me. So after a short trip to the moon, 
<laughs> you, you were far less skeptical of the captain's stories. There you go. He explained to you that he was ill and uh, had another year to live. He wanted to retire to Neverwinter, the place of his birth, and live out the remaining days uh, with his relatives. Uh, none of these dogs is fit for the life of a spell jammer. You, lad, have spark in your eye. I noticed it the first time we met. All right. Still overwhelmed uh, by the giddy sensation of having flown to the moon, you answered without a thought uh, by clasping the captain's offered hand and nodding eye. Very good. Um, by the end of the week, the old captain was off, and you had picked out your crew. Master of your own ship, master of your own destiny, you were prepared to journey into the unknown. So, basically, you were just a guy in Waterdeep, in, in the Forgotten Realms, and an old sea captain gave you a fucking spaceship. That's right. Let's get going. We're going to realm space. All right, this is the copy protection for the game. We're supposed to enter um, the, the word on page four, line one, word three, in order to make sure that someone wasn't just distributing this across the internet. Thankfully, we don't care about that too much, so we just hit okay and it'll work anyway. The game's been patched to not have the copy protection. Okay, so immediately we're in space and you can see like we're very near the planet Toral right here. But we're not going to go to Toral. Instead, we're going to go over to, um, uh, what, what do you call it? We're actually going to hit uh, this button instead uh, to open up the cheat engine. And so th this is DOS's version of cheat engine. We're going to um, really quick check the table of memory locations. And we're going to load a new table of memory changes. Yes, so uh, this should do it. And these are the stats of my crew. Now, what I'm going to do is be a dirty cheater here and tell the helm, the helmsman specifically, that um, th th this is actually a, a pretty lackluster role. At least nothing's under nine. Like, you, you can get a, a crew member who's completely unable to do anything, and it can be really, really bad. So, um, but yeah, this is the DOS version of Cheat Engine. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and edit the helm value specifically um we're, we're gonna bring this up to 19 and uh then we're gonna bring the each of these stats up to something more respectable this is just a copy of the other stat that doesn't matter they like they're, they're all fine otherwise like uh yeah so like 16 16 16 and we can we can leave the uh i guess 15 doesn't matter we just we, we brought yeah we brought the stats up because these are randomly generated so what you would do in a normal game is you would actually go and let me check the memory. Yeah, the memory's still edited. Good. Uh, what you would do in the normal game is you would go to view crew member and you would check each of your crew member's stats one by one by one. Yes. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Spell jam of Pirates of Realm Space! Damn, they're, they're still dust on this, this thing. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, now then. Uh, let's see here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, you would go through and you'd check each individual crew member's, like, vital stat. And then you'd remake the game. And then you'd remake the game. Over and over and over until you got a good, uh, crew set up. Well, we just used uh, the DOS version of Cheat Engine to edit memory values, and now we're good to go. So I'm, I'm going actually going to exit out of this, and I'm going to create a new uh, save file. I'm going to save the current game as... Uh, is going to say... Spell 1. And, and that's it. You just uh, confirm that. Good. Spell 1. Hit OK. And what, what I always do is... I'm Because I'm, I'm, I'm an insane person... I always make a second save. I always do two saves, just in case one of them was corrupted. Uh, th this is a uh, a very broken game. Now we're going to actually aim to toward Toral, and we're going to start spell jamming in that direction. So uh, you can see there we go. We, we're now around Toral. So uh, we're going to dock at a Waterdeep, which is the um, 
the the big capital city uh, in, in Toral that handles spell jammers. Not every uh, uh, some planets have multiple cities that can handle spell jammers, but um, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just dock at Waterdeep real quick. You notice that we owe uh, 806 gold pieces and um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, yeah, we were good. We're good. So we're gonna we're gonna dock there. First things first. Before you do anything else, you go to the Council of Lords and you pay your taxes. If you don't do that, they'll confiscate all your gold and all your cargo. They're, they're like, you'll just have your ship and crew at that point, and then your crew will be like, "Well, fuck you." Um, it's it's a bad time if you don't pay your taxes. Thank you for paying your taxes. Yes. So that's 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 how it works. Um, in any case, we paid our taxes. And now we're going to head on over to the Temple of Isis to show you the uh, the digitized people. So what they did is they took photos of people, and then they used pixels that, that to like replicate their faces. Yes, it, it's great. It's it's top quality number one content, as you can see. So you you could get blessed, heal your wounds, cure your illnesses. You know, ba basically, and, and restore lost levels, and raise uh, the dead are the most important things they do. Th th those are super important. Now, aside from that, um, we're going to go over to the Ale House right now. And uh, we're going to ask... The, the, by the way, look at this guy's eyes. L look at him. Look at the shifty wino. Uh, uh, look, look, at, look at his eyes when they shift. It, it, the, the, hold, on, hold on. There you go. That, that, that shit is amazing. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Uh, let's inquire about work. Uh, let's see. Grisdale Haston has gathered together a large shipment of fine steel swords. He has a buyer on Athanar and uh, at, at Kolinar and who wishes to purchase the item. Got it. So we just have to get the swords over to, uh, to Athanar, in other words. That's fine. How much would you pay me? 2,000? 1,250. That's, that's not great. That's That'll get us to our next port. It, that, let's put it like that. So let's let's go ahead and accept the job for now, just so that we can uh, be headed over to Athenar. Um, I mean, the box is definitely not gold. I'm assuming you're referring to the engine, because the box is very much not gold. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now then, let's see here. What are we doing? Oh yeah, um, we don't need new recruits right now. We're actually. I want to hear some rumors. Uh, giants act in strange in wild space. It's, uh, bigger than they are. I see. I see. Okay, then we're gonna exit the pub, and now we're gonna head down over to the shipping district, where we're gonna sell our cargo. We have some elm, pine, and li uh, limestone. We wanna sell all this cargo right now. Just, just get rid of all of it. Yeah. We're basically telling him, hey, uh, get, get rid of this stuff. And so we sold everything. That that's that's fine. So, um radio. Okay, well I think we're good to go. We just have our um our, our quest to Athenar, unless there's something we want to pick up. Let's look at the um let's look at the shipping depot. And uh, if we wanted to pick up some cargo, it looks like yeah, our destination would be Glyth. Well, no, I, I don't think so. I, we're, we're not going to Glyth, unfortunately. If we were to do this, yeah, there's no jobs available right now. That, that's that's fine. So, uh, in our cargo manifest, we don't have any delivery right now, and we don't want to buy any cargo at the moment. So, we're gonna we're gonna leave Toral right now. So, we're, we're currently in Waterdeep. We're we're leaving Waterdeep right now. So, uh, we're exiting Toral. We need to pay our crew their wages. So that's fine. The, the, our crew has been paid their wages. They happily board the ship. So, you notice that we immediately refresh our air. Uh, we actually pay an air tax to do that. It's ridiculous. But uh, we're going to leave orbit now. And uh, before we do anything else, we are going to save the game again. Just uh, spell three this time. It uses the GSF format. Oh, boy. So there we go. Next, uh, we are going to back off and uh, find, we're going to navigate to Toral. So I believe uh, navigation would be right here. Uh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, Suburbanite, thank you uh, 
for the ten dollars. I appreciate it. And uh, Mountain Shark, thank you for gifting a membership. That's awesome. All right, let's uh, let's go. We're gonna navigate right now. Boop, boop, uh, um, we needed to go to not Toral, uh, Athenar, I believe. So if we we look around, um, hmm, I forgot what the button was to like navigate between them, but uh, uh, Colinar. It was Col it was Athenar on Colinar. So yeah, yeah, Colinar's was where we need to go. So we we nav we hit the navigation. We we've now set course for Colinar. Uh, we're gonna check our um, our manifest real quick. Uh, our log, yeah, our lo a log right here. We, we could we could print it. Don't you want to print print the? Yeah. Uh, okay, so it just says that we docked at Toral. That's that's fine. That that's that's okay. So uh, more importantly, um, you're gonna mod Starfield into this game. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, I, th I think we're good. Let let's head on over then. Uh, we're just going to go to navigation. And we're going to spell jam to our destination. So you'll notice that uh, we are now traveling through space. It's going to re-navigate. It's, it's, it's going to take us to where the planet was. Planets move very fast in, uh, in, in fl uh, what do you call it, uh, fluid space. So... Uh, we won't actually be at the planet when we reach our destination. We'll have to, like, spell jam a second time to get there. Because we're going to where the planet was, not where it will be. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're just kind of heading over. In the meantime, uh, we can have a look at our crew members. You know, the, uh, you can have a look at my stats here. I'm a human male, uh, chaotic neutral, level 5 mage. And I've got some pr uh, pretty good stats. Uh, completely uncheated, believe it or not. Yes. All right. That's awesome. So anyway, we exit out of the menu and continue to travel. It's going to take about a day in game time, but we're almost there. It looks like, yeah, no, no, we're close enough that we actually arrived at the planet. And uh, we need to go to Athenar right now. So we're going to dock at Athenar. Um, my goodness. What was my favorite book series? Uh, there was one called uh, Dark Over Steel. Kind of, I have a soft spot for. But there, there are many, many, many different book series that I like for different reasons. Mm. It's the first thing we do is we go to the Congress building and we pay our taxes. If you don't pay your taxes, you're going to be sad. So we're going to pay the Birdman his taxes. Thank you for paying your taxes. Very good. Now, aside from that, we need to collect our reward. So as you can see, we uh, we got we barely made any profit at all, but we were earning prestige, which is an un um, which is a, a kind of a score you can't see. Um, that's internal to uh, whether we'll get better uh, missions or not. So we we basically want to keep doing these menial jobs and barely making any profit until we're ready to uh, y you know. Uh, you butter. Let's, let's look at our crew members real quick, though. If we look at uh, uh, what's called Lorik Brightshield, we already know he's like a cleric, right? Yeah, he's a cleric. Morgan Silverleaf is a mage. We're gonna go ahead and teach our people their uh, their spells right now. So first things first, magic missile. We need to add as many magic missiles as we can get at level one. Then we move down to. Uh, uh, why you call it? Uh, yeah. Okay. So he knows a good number of spells, but Stinking Cloud's going to be our MVP for this. And then if we go down here, you'll notice that it's either Hold Person or Lightning Bolt. Hold Person's nice, but I'm going to go with Lightning Bolt. So uh, basically, what we have to do is we have to teach each of our people the uh, the different skills they need. Anyway, we we finished with Morgan Silverleaf. That's fine. We're we're gonna actually exit out and go check out some other stuff, see about different jobs. Then we'll we'll train the rest of our people. Out in space, I guess. All right, so we're going to the tavern next. Uh, let's see. This is this bird. That, by the way, it's the same bird man. Oh, th okay. So this dragon with like Kamina glasses from Gurren Lagann. He's apparently wanted. Yeah, I think he's like a red dragon disciple or a dragon kin or something. I don't fucking know. But point is, he's wanted and he's got these like glasses. It's, it's really fucking strange. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, more importantly, we are going to um, 
Not look for new recruits, but uh, we're gonna look, look for work. A member of the government asks you to act as courier for some ransom that has to be delivered to uh, the, the fearsome garden. Oh shit, uh, the middleman in a hostage situation. There is a chance the family will try to stop you. Killing them may complicate matters, so avoid killing them if you can. 3,350 for, uh, a riot, yeah. Um, completion at, uh, C Clive's, uh, Olive Garden, yes. That, that makes sense. Okay, so we, we gotta go to Garden, that, that's fine. So, I'm gonna accept this job, it's 3,000, it's definitely more than what we got. So, um, he's the coolest dragon in the cosmos, something like that, yes. Yes, indeed. So, we're currently on the Birdman planet, we're gonna be traveling to a different, uh, a different planet pretty soon. So, uh, give me a second, though. I need to actually get my crew, uh, all set up here. So, uh, Mel Melkar the Wise. Uh, let's see. Melkar the Wise did, did not study any spells, so we have to do this right now. Hold on. Uh, we're gonna add some magic missiles. Yes. And then we're gonna add Stinking Cloud, because that's, again, the MVP. Same deal. Uh, lightning bolts. And that should do it. Next person. Um, yeah, we gotta move on to the next person, so. We just need to make sure that everyone in our party is, uh, yeah, Mr. Greybeard is the lookout. So, again, like, we have, a, all of our officers are basically wizards. It's great. Like, all of the normal crewmen are fighters, but, uh, the officers are all mages, so. We're, uh, we're, we're doing pretty well, I think. Uh, yes, so we've got our magic set up there. Um, hold on, we, we, we gotta keep doing, okay, we got, we got, um, did, did Mr. Brightshield, does he need to actually study spells? He does, okay, cure light wounds, yes, yeah, 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 yeah absolutely, Cl clerics can, uh, absolutely do that, the, the primary cleric will lose his spells, though, uh, slow person, hold person, okay, clerics can do hold person, five times? You're kidding me. Five hold persons. Okay. I know what we're going to use with our clerics. Holy crap. Um, in the meantime, we don't need to worry about disease at the moment. I don't intend on fighting any undead, and I'll reload if I get uh, stuck with that. But um, I, got, I don't see any like major healing on this. Like His spells suck. So uh, I guess just dispel magic in case. That, that might be fine. Yeah, this is, this is a okay. Oh no, no, we, we're using Cheat Engine, so specifically the DOS version of Cheat Engine. So um, let me let me pull it up actually. Uh, I'll just make um, hold on, hold on. There it is. The the whoops, I tried tried dragging into the game. There you go. We're using the Game Wizard Pro version Ultimate Cheating Experience. That's what we're using. You can see this authentic stain in the middle of it there. It's great. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, go down to, uh, uh, jeez, Nori Greybeard. No, no, okay, Nori Greybeard's already trained. It's, uh, Stiffbeard, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Grog Stiffbeard, the, who is a fighter. Doesn't have spells. Okay, so I think I think everyone else is uh, non-magical. We'll check Sir Aran. Sir Aran, yeah. I think I I don't think anyone else has magic. Uh, yeah, I think they're all fighters. I think they've been. Th yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm, Sophia. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Cool. So if I if I go down a little further, yeah, all the crew, the rest of the crew are just generic fighters. That makes perfect sense. Uh huh. Yep, yep. So, um, other than that, we're basically done. We view our job, and you can see we need to. Okay, we need to deliver. We need to go to Garden, uh, the fearsome, on Garden. Okay. So that's it. We we need to we need to travel to Garden, and that's where like a hostage situation is uh, happening. So we're gonna exit. Uh, oh wait, wait. We need to pay our taxes. Fuck. Okay, uh, Congress. Wait, no, we, we already paid our taxes. Uh, jeez, okay. 
For whatever reason, I thought uh, I hadn't paid my tax. I'm like, this is the first thing I did when I landed. Uh, yeah, we'll exit Athenar. We're good. Board the ship. Good, 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 good. Now, uh, more importantly, before we do anything else, once we're, yeah, because we're in space, we've left orbit. Yeah, oh, we're, we're still in orbit, okay. Uh, oh, it's because we could change between Athenar and Has. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're leaving orbit. Okay, so we're immediately going to save the current game under uh, spell one. Um, yes, we're gonna save under spell one, that's fine. And uh, we, we always make, uh, we always double up our saves because I'm, I'm paranoid as fuck. Uh, no, 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 S spell, spell two. There we go, cool. We're done, okay. Now we can go. So we have to, we have to locate garden and that's where we're gonna, we're gonna spell jam to garden. Uh, yes. Don't wanna end up like that cool dragon, yes. Navigate, okay. We have to find Garden. So we haven't found any points of interest yet. That's that's okay. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else we need to do. It would be... Um, okay. So I don't think Garden is here in this section. I think it's out in the... Uh, it's in the outer planets, I suspect. Because... Uh, let's see, Keldos. G Garden is way out there. So yeah, that's, that's some distance, unfortunately. We're going to go ahead and set that as our course. So we're gonna spell jam to our destination. So uh, we're traveling to a garden right now to deliver some money. Note that we're going to be hitting multiple encounters. These people uh, want to stop us from doing this. The edge of the universe is funky, yes. But uh, yeah, we have to be very careful because um, there are people who may want to stop us and we're going to have to like outrun them just at full speed if possible. My goodness. Um, ah, 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 ah. Great. Okay. So yeah, it, it is relocating. It's changing heading. Aw. Oh. Is it just in? Oh, apparently it got fucked. We need to go to garden. There we go. We'll be there in less than an hour. I I, I I don't think we'll be there in less than an hour. I think we're fucked. Yeah. Stop. Stop. I, I, what happened? Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm, I'm screwed. I don't know what, uh, what, what just happened there. We're going to spell jam manually. And then we're going to just stop. Um... Yeah, it, it's just spinning us forever. It's really fucking funny. Okay, change of plans, change of plans. We're, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to reload back to spell two, where I last was. And then I'm going to speed up the game. So I know where Garden is already. Um, I think I hit something. It doesn't matter. So first things first. We go to the outer planets. We go to Garden, right? Uh, right there. Uh, yes, so, so Garden is our destination. Let's spell jam there. And then I'm going to immediately, um, I'm going to bring up Cheat Engine, and I'm going to increase the game's speed by a factor of nine. Uh, it's generating an encounter. Fuck. Okay. The, the way out of this is to go full speed. Yes. I didn't save the game's speed being increased, so it's fine. We just need to keep going straight. They're off the port. I don't care if they're off the port. I'm going straight. I'm not. I'm just going to leave. I, I'm, I'm not participating in this encounter. I am leaving. They, they, say it says they're off the port, and I can kind of see them. I'm just going to immediately rotate and just kind of leave. So yeah, I, I'm going in the. I'm heading in the opposite direction as them. I'm, I'm outrunning them because uh, I don't know what kind of ship they are. But I was told not to kill the family who's going to try to stop me from paying this uh, this ransom. So, um, basically, we're just going to go in the opposite direction as the ship and, and get the hell out of here. Yes. This is this is combat music. But I, I, ain't, I ain't doing the combats. I, I'm not doing it. Okay. We should be able to outrun them. 
And once we get... Yep, see, we're back into normal space. So we're going to spell jam to garden. Yep. Now, it may generate more encounters. They may try to stop us. Yep, see what I mean? So um, what we're going to do again is we're just going to go straight. And uh, we're just going to keep avoiding it. We're, we're doing a big mission for 3,000. They And they, we were asked specifically not to kill the people who come after us. That was uh, part of the mission. So. Eventually, we can destroy or board. Boarding enemy ships is better because you can steal their shit. But, uh, yes. Uh, who who uh, attacks someone to, trying to pay off someone else's ransom? Uh, they want this person dead, specifically. Yes. They're, they're a faction who want the, the person dead. If they get ransomed, they'll go back to the safety of a uh, place that cannot, uh... You know, yeah, 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 let me, let me check. Hold on a second, someone said a thing. I'm just double-checking. Okay. I think we're set. Oh, pirates hate taxpayers. It's true. It's absolutely true. We're we're almost we've almost arrived at Garden, so I can see the planet straight ahead. It's not really a planet so much as it's a collection of planets and a giant organism. Quite terrifying, actually. Yeah, we're going to we're going to dock at Clive's Den. They they want a thousand in taxes. Holy fuck! This place sucks. Hey, Clive the Fearsome, how you doing? Oh shit! This, this is who, who runs this place? Holy fuck! <laughs> Clive the Fearsome, hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll pay my taxes, it's fine. Yep, yeah, thank you for paying your taxes. Okay, collect reward. There we go. That, that, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Glorious. Okay, we've collected our reward. We did, we did what we set out to do. Uh, which is hilarious. Uh, let's go, let's look at the blind parrot. Okay. Um, we'll inquire about work, I guess. That's, uh, pretty impressive nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah. The skull of the last person who refused to pay their taxes. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. Uh, but his his eyes are glowing. Reminds me of like uh, the spice expands consciousness. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's inquire about work. Uh, young foppish uh, lad, um, looking for expensive silk clothing. God, God. Okay, so he's he's an expensive sort of sort. Um, jeweled saber at his hip. Uh, begs you to provide him passage to the wondrous city of Waterdeep. Oh, back to the beginning of the game. Back to the beginning of the game. Yeah. My goodness. You ever heard of an honest pirate? There's a whole video game about it. It's called Privateer. Mm. Anyway. All right. Knows about the giant nuggets of gold that loose in the foil. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so... Right, like common stones, well kept secret to the people who toil. He will pay to get him where he plans to gather as many gems as he can. You will be paid three thousand seven hundred and fifty. Well, we're going back to Waterdeep, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'll accept the job. But we're going to Waterdeep. Nice. So we're just doing some uh, some basic um, travel back and forth until we can get some upgrades on our ship, and then we'll. We'll go and probably be able to retire under the uh, the sheer weight of the enemy uh, ships that we, uh, you know, plunder. But we're, right now we're just doing basic work. So, in any case, um, yeah, I think we're done here. Let's uh, look over at the borrowed goods store. Uh huh. Yes, we're we're a space pirate, but we're paying taxes. Technically, we're not a pirate yet. We're uh. We're a man who's been given a spaceship. Yes. <laughs> All right. My goodness. Now then, um, we don't really have any car. Let's see about picking up cargo. Oh, water deep. Fair enough. 
We're, we're going to accept. Yeah, we'll accept the job. Absolutely. That That's just free money. They, they, they want us to take cargo where we're taking this guy already. Damn right. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're literally, we're going back home to Waterdeep and we're delivering a guy and we're delivering cargo at the same time. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, Bill, Bill's battered weapons. Yes, indeed. Let's go see what... Okay. Uh, I, I want to go shopping. Uh, I, I suppose I'll go shopping myself. And uh, yeah, I, ha I have all the Mune. Uh, let's see. How, how much would you want for... Jeez, you don't have any magic weapons at all. Your weapons suck, sir. Yeah, they're awful. What about Olaf's Armory? Okay, o Olaf's Armory, probably better. Let's have a look, see. Okay. Sir Aaron. Sir Aaron will go uh, purchase a... Uh... Okay, they have plus one. That's uh, no, but no weapons. They're all shields and armor. What a shame. Yeah, Armory is actual Armory. Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. My goodness. Okay. Well, uh, the supplies there. We're going to buy um, robes, boots. Nah, thieves' tools might be nice, but no, we don't need anything. We're good. We can leave. So we're gonna exit Clive's den. We're gonna pay our uh, wages. Forty-four, apparently. That's okay. Yep, the crew is happily uh, we're happy that we paid our wages. Let's leave orbit. And we're going to save the game um, under spell two and three. Noting that's uh, actually, let's go with spell four. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, um, let's call it spell four. There we go. And uh, now, we yeah, we have our save game. Exit disc options, let's, let's go. So. We got to navigate ourselves back to Waterdeep, which is in the inner planets. We sort over here. Yep, that's uh, Kolinar, I believe. Toral. Yeah, Tor uh, Toral. Toral's where we can find uh, Waterdeep. So we're going to spell jam to our destination. My goodness. Going there now. Very good. Very good. So... Uh, we've just finished up our last job where we delivered uh, the ransom to uh, Clive. We already did that. So um, we delivered the ransom to Clive. We picked up a new person who wants to go to Waterdeep. We also picked up some cargo, which is due to Waterdeep as well. So we're going to deliver the cargo and simultaneously we're going to um, we're just going to double dip those jobs yeah, it's, it's absolutely great. Let me see here. Uh, y y you know what you know what YouTube's saying? Uh, y YouTube's like this. Uh, uh, this this is this is pure YouTube streaming. Oh, hold on. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll show you what we're talking about here. Uh, like th this is what YouTube wants uh, us to do right now. <laughs> what the fuck? Is all I gotta say. Now we've arrived at Waterdeep. It's fine. It's just, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, very good, very good. Uh, yes, yes. A, a, a real RPG. A, I actually have a video, um, about a real RPG. Um, it, it, it's, it's actually worth checking out on the YouTubes. Yes. You have to insert inflammatory phrases into your uh, your description, otherwise uh, people won't engage. They'll they'll be bored. In instead, if they're angry, they'll they'll engage. It's true. All right, let me see here. Um, okay, we're gonna dock at Waterdeep. Notice that um, <laughs> it's uh, it's 776. Uh, God, they're taxing our cargo. These fucking bastards. Fine, fine. Council of Lords, fucking take your blood money. Chase. All right. God damn. Thank you for paying your taxes. Give me my reward. All right, so we delivered the guy over to Waterdeep. And as a result, uh, we've received 
3,750 uh, gold. We are now going to go over to the shipping depot, and we're going to, um, what's called, drop off our cargo. And we're paid a thousand for that. That's great. We did what we needed to do. Very good. Now, uh, we're gonna go see the wino real quick at the ale house, and you can see him here. L look at his eyes. The way they shift back and forth, this shifty wino. He's, uh, he can't be trusted. He, he's got his, uh, his mustache and everything. So, my goodness. You're sick of Oblivion? No, I told, I told everyone that today I was going to live stream Record of Lotus War, and then I didn't. I, I played this instead. <laughs> unfortunate, unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, yeah. You're paying, uh, taxes on plants you're not living on. It's true, it's true. If you want to dock... Uh, you're, you're gonna owe taxes. If you want air, you're gonna pay taxes. That's right. Mm-hmm. You gotta pay for the cargo you sold? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Yeah, this man here. Uh, no, uh, the, I, I actually had to pay taxes on the cargo I was bringing in, whether I sell it or not. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's, that's exactly it. There's taxes everywhere. Thank you for paying your taxes. Jeez. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and inquire about work. So, what do we got? We're approached by a small man dressed in fine silk garments. He's flanked either side by heavily armored ogres. It looks hotly at you. Jeweled pendant around his neck, reaching for his belt. Pulls out a bag. Says some sparkling gemstones in his hand. Says he has a package waiting in Adanya. Uh, he needs to have moved to uh, Megawabi. Uh, my goodness. Um, you will be paid well if you take this job, and if you don't take it, he looks suggestively at four ogres who smile at him with toothy grins. You'll be paid 4,400 GP upon completion at uh, Megawabi. Uh, that, that's it, on uh, Glyph. So we got, we got to go to Glyph. Well, fine, we'll accept the job. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, Im imagine if his ogres get taxed. There's an ogre tax, probably. I don't fucking know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My goodness. All right. What else we got? Uh, listen for rumors. Maybe I'll be so cold that some ships get frozen in the dock until the next warm season frees them. Well, that, that, that's, that's awful. He is clearly working for... This is a Dungeons & Dragons space game, so yes, he probably works for Wizards of the Coast. After strategic simulations got uh, got acquired, he, he probably uh, la landed a job there with with his shifty look, yep. It's true, it's true. He's, he's probably uh, one, of the, uh, one of the wizard staff. All right. So, in any case, we're good. We're going to... Um, we're actually going to head over to the oddity store. This is this is the guy used in the thumbnail, by the way. You can see the the redditor. The, the, I found that the redditor makes the perfect thumbnail. Um, personally, I I think so. But um, yeah, yeah, this is definitely a uh, little little on the special side. Give me a second here while I poke at a couple things. Jeez. Yeah, it's it's a little nuts. Just a little. Because you don't pay your taxes, they take all your cargo and all your money. Oh, uh, they they basically just impound your ship, and then uh, uh, you get your ship back for all your money. Yes. Okay, so. Let me see. If you don't have money to make money, then you're fucked. Yes. Okay, see these? These are magic weapons. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to have one of our people, um, I'm actually going to, uh, hold on, Lyric Bright Shields, Let's see, uh, yeah, yeah, so they only have like 700 gold, they, they can't afford the good stuff, only I can afford the good stuff. So what I need to do is I need to buy a long sword plus one. I don't actually care about the plus two, the, the whole point of the, um, the plus one is that, um, it can kill undead. Like, un undead are immune to uh, normal physical damage, but a plus one weapon, 
uh, is is uh, exempt from that. So we've, we've just purchased a plus one sword. You'll If I go back over there, I, it looks like, yeah, I could buy another plus one sword. Let's do that right now. Uh, long sword plus one. Yes. And then we just add that to our inventory. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at um, uh, the, what do you call it, uh, money lender here. Oh, boy. We can apply for a loan if we need to. Yes. It's a, it's a pretty amazing game. Yeah, it, very, very Daggerfall-like. And we're going to make a deposit. Uh, not do, By the way, never deposit all your money uh, because the game will assume you have some. And if you don't have at least enough to pay your taxes, <laughs> then you're fucked. So, uh, but we do want to deposit some of our money. So I, I think like uh, 3,000 will be a good deposit. So uh, yes, uh, bam. So we've deposited 3,000 gold on Waterdeep. And we can make a withdrawal if we want, but mostly we're just trying to get good standing so we can apply for a loan later. Yep. My goodness. All right. I think we're going to look at the shopping district and figure out... Um, we need to go to Glyth. So if we pick up some cargo, that wants to go to Koliar. That's not worth it. No, we're not going to take the job. Well, we're not going to Koliar. We're going to Glyth. So, um, my goodness. Uh, why would you want to command... I, well, it, it's kind of funny, because we're actually flying a galleon, not a Nautilus, right? This is a Mind Flayer ship. These are the pirates that, like, try to chase you down. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of funny, because, uh, they, like, those are the bad guys. They, they put the bad guys on the box art. It's really funny. All right. Let me see here. You need to press OK when I'm buying the sword? Yeah, probably. I'm being stupid. All right. Let's go back and let's buy a sword. Fuck it. So it'd be under the oddities? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be the Redditor. So we need to buy a plus one sword from the Redditor here. Uh, let's do it. Okay. So I hit this and then OK. Yeah, so we just need to buy a couple of those real quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hijack their ship? You bet your ass you can. Okay. Uh, let's go and we need to switch with our cargo. So I'm going to view crew member myself. And I'm going to items. And I'm going to take that plus one sword and I'm going to trade it. Uh, amount of gold. No, no, no. I, I need to give it. I need to give the plus one sword to Sir Aaron. Yes. So we gave the plus one sword to Aaron. And now we can go view Sir Aaron. And from there, we need to um, look at his items. And you'll notice that he's using a short sword. And so we're going to replace that with the long sword plus one. I wanted to ready that. May not ready another weapon. Um, well, then go ahead and uh, get... Hold on. I know there's a way to unready it. There we go. Cool. So now Sir Aaron can actually kill, um, like, undead now. He, he's able to do that. So that, that's good. That's good. Um, yep, he's using the longsword plus one. So that, that's about it. I think we're, we're good to go. We have to head to Glyth now. So we're going, yeah, our current job, if we look at it, it's to, uh, yeah, it's, it's to head over to Mingwabi on Glyph. So, uh, and we'll get 4,000 for our trouble. We're going to we're gonna have to pay them 48 uh, wages. Yep, we paid them in wages. That's good. We're going to leave orbit. And now we're going to save under uh, five. We're going to spell five. And uh, we'll start heading over to Glyth now. So I'm going to hit OK. Saving game. Good. Now, if we go to the navigation menu, we'll look for Glyth. Uh, should be somewhere out in the outer planets. Let's go to wild space. Uh, uh, let's see. Chenos. Glyth, Glyth is over here. OK. So. Uh, evade, spa evade space tax. Yes. Yes, indeed. 
Okay, navigation. Wait, no, no navigation. We're yeah, we're gonna spell jam to our destination, which is Glyph. We're gonna avoid all encounters still. We aren't quite ready for the uh, the big time. I mean, we, we might go for the first one. Probably die a horrible death. We, we we might die a horrible death, but let's you know like I really 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 should upgrade my crew a little more before fighting. But hey, uh, I I, th I think we'll we'll give the next one a try and probably die a horrible death. It's fine. Yes, you better pay your taxes. Hmm. Okay. It's a okay. We're just ha uh, Glyph is going to take eight days. Uh, now I could use Cheat Engine to speed it up, but I can see it in the distance, or I can see something in the distance. Oh, it looks like we're going to get there. Yeah, yeah, we're there. That's that's Glyph. We arrived. Awesome. Uh, let's go to Ming Lobby. That'll be 495 in taxes. That's cheap. I assume they have nothing here, but uh, let's let's go pay at the government building. Uh, 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 we're here in we're here on planet Skyrim. And we need to go visit the Council of Elders, and we're gonna pay our taxes. There we go. Thank you for paying your taxes. It's only 400, so we're gonna collect our reward. Um, wait. Ah, oh, hold on a second. I'm confused. We're rolling the crew's starting stats. Uh, I don't think the devs expected it. I think the devs just went. It's going to be cool. The, the crew members are going to be different every time. And you're going to have a different experience every time. And you're going to play this a lot. That That's it. It's, it's going to be it. Tavern. Uh, round of drinks. Listen for rumors. Inquire about work. We're already on a job, aren't we? Fuck. I, 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 I'm, I'm pro I probably fucked this up. Let's go look at our job. Hold on. So. Uh, okay. Bag of gemstones. We need to go to Andrana, not Mingwabi. We, we fucked it up. We fucked it up. We fucked it up. So ra rather than uh, doing that, we're going to reload to our last save because that's smirt. Okay, so we're back at um, our previous planet. Now we're going to Andrana first. Th that explains everything. Okay, so inner planets. Where's Andrana? Uh, Andrana's right there. Cool. Uh, spell jam me there. Nice. I, I, I fucked it up last time. <laughs> Let's just fly directly into the sun. Yeah, th there was a rumor that apparently there's a castle that can be plundered in the middle of the sun. You just have to... You just need a um, uh, a resist uh, heat potion to go inside. Uh, that, that, that was one of the rumors this game has. It's full of shit, by the way. Your ship will burn up and you'll die. But uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> Because he, yeah. My goodness. You better pay your taxes. You need to repay those taxes to reload the last save. Hey, Andrana um Umbergard. We owe 520 in taxes. Please pay at the government warehouse. No, it's the, uh, the temple. Oh, God. I'm mean, just looking at this elf and his onk. Oh, jeez. At least he can raise the dead. Yes, government warehouse. Oh, uh, jeez. There's just a gnome there. Oh, jeez. Bristling Brewer Pub. Uh, let's see. Where the... F government hall. Here it is. Okay, let's pay our taxes. Yes. Now, we need to collect... Now I don't have a reward. I'm trying to find... Where the hell was this again? I, I know I can't navigate while docked. I'm just busy looking at, looking at my job again. Okay, so... Oh, God. This is, like... This file's further back. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Just don't, don't forget your taxes. Yeah, we're just gonna leave the port without paying taxes. See that? We just le we left without paying taxes. We're gonna, we're gonna quit the game. F fuck this. God, quit. Yep, quit current game. Yep. I fucked it up. I fucked it up! The SJ.
Let's see where we are in the grand scheme of things, because I'm confused. So let's see. If we view our job, uh, heavily ogres, got it. Okay, Andrana to Glyph. This is it. We got it. Hell yeah. Andrana to Glyph. So we actually loaded the correct save this time. Yeah, title music tax. You better pay your taxes. Uh, where? Okay, Colinar's here and Drana's here. You notice that the plants rotate very quick. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and uh, and navigate ourselves over. Uh, God damn it! Uh, spell jam to our destination. Yes, this is the jankiest shit you'll ever find. It, it's horribly broken. Not even cat boys can escape taxes. Um, <clears throat> big true. Now, here's the real question. Why isn't this selected? Like, I should be able to see that. Like, the fact that the game isn't loaded is off. There we go. We fixed it. Okay. Uh, let me actually make sure that it's set up, because it should be dra It should be full screen. Yeah, something like that. But if we go down to this one, then we can, um, uh, let me, let me drag it up full size. Uh that yeah there we go that that's good that's good okay uh now as i was saying uh all right randrana let's dock at umberguard 520 in taxes you're yeah, i'm giving the package yes yes i'm giving the package so we're there we're there hell yeah <laughs> okay we need to go to the government hall and we need to pay our taxes okay so once we're finished paying our taxes we then have to go to a different place to uh, uh, to do that. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. No, that's my mask whenever I don't want to be on camera for any reason. If I'm, like, tired or uh, just want to be able to do something without being seen, yeah. What am I using to play this? Oh, uh, you see, I have a $1,000 computer that I'm using to play a game from 1992. That, that, that's how you do it. That, that is exactly how you do it. Give me a sec here. Hey, here here's my computadora. Yeah. Hey, you see, I, I'm, I'm playing the video games, the spell GM or Pirates of Realm Space. Yes. Right. Okay. Go. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Trying to figure out what we're doing now. Oh, yeah, we're, we're done here. We just need to go see if there's anything else. Uh, let's go look at the dry dock. The dry dock, we can modify our ship. Let's throw in some extra rigging. Oh, that's 4,000. No, thanks. Uh, what about some netting? Yeah, let's just grab some netting for the ship. Good. Wallpaper tax? I don't think so. See, I'm running DOSBox right now. It's uh, DOSBox uh, seven, seven, 0 0.74-3. It's great. Yep. On the top monitor, I've got this... Um, I got the manual. So, uh, you can see right here, we, we, we got the manual on archive.org. Very important shit. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, strip the hull! No, no, no. Stronger materials, increased thickness. Everyone wants to increase thickness. Uh, we're leaving the dry dock. Uh, next up is the shipyards. We can change our ship's name for a hundred. We might as well do that right now. 
Um, let me see. Um, yes, yes, change the ship's name. It's, it's the meandering beast. Uh, uh, USS uh, Catboy. Yes, there we go. Uh, the USS Catboy. Very good, very good. Next up, we are, um, are going to be, uh, geez, uh, yeah, I paid 100 gold to change that name. Uh, what else? I, I think we're done. So, um, holy shit. The, the SS taxpayer, something like that. <laughs> holy fuck, okay. <laughs> Uh, where, where's the, uh, the warehouse? Yeah, yeah, it, it's, let's see about, uh, any cargo. They're, it's going to Toro Waterdeep. Um, I don't think so. I, I, I no, no, we're, we're not going to Waterdeep right now. Sorry. Okay, let's exit the port. Yep. Oh, hold on, hold on. So, it seems like a lot of people here want to play a different game. Um... Uh, okay, so the game that seems to be on everyone's minds. Uh, let me let me pull it up right here. Uh, jeez, Steam, what you doing? Okay. Um, it's not that one. Holy fuck! I I oh, I I found the game. Okay. The the game on everyone's mind is Turn Up Boy commits tax evasion. <laughs> yes. Turnip boy commits tax evasion. Yes. So, uh, uh you, you two, com it's in my Steam library. I, I, I own, I own Turnip boy commits tax evasion. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Um. Yeah, yeah. So we, we've left. You said, is this a D and D universe? Uh, the forgot. Everyone in the Forgotten Realms thought they were. Um, thought they were alone, but one day, one day, uh, the, this ship captain gave you his ship, and it goes into fucking space, and so, uh, now, now we're leaving orbit, and, uh, yeah, so Waterdeep and the rest of the, the Forgotten Realms, as you know, it is located on Toral. Toral is, like, right, uh, Right here? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's Toral. That, that, that's where Waterdeep is. So, uh, wa Waterdeep's on this planet over here. Uh, my goodness. Uh, Kolinar. Jeez, I, I forgot where the hell I needed to go. View my job. Uh, I need to go to uh, Glyth. We, we need to take our, take our item from, from here and go to Glyth. Okay, that's fine. Let's, uh, let's save our current game as spell six. Yes, spell six. There we go. And yes. So, uh, first things first, we navigate to the outer planets, and Glyth should be like down here. Yeah, cool. So, we're going to spell jam to our destination. Yep. Very good. Ah, shit. Encounter. Fuck it! No, 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 no,
Mike. Yes, the SS Cat Boy is, is rather popular. It, it's absolutely true. Yeah, specifications for vessel. You see the SS Cat Boy? It's real. It can only land in water, though. Keep that in mind. It's got a minor helm. Uh, you can see all the details about the SS Cat Boy. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Okay. So, we successfully avoided them. Let's try to spell jam the rest of the way to Glyph without an encounter, please. Thanks. Yes. Mm. Yeah, it, it was that one uh, sexual lobster video about how he was sending cat boys back to ancient Greece. And then, um, the, uh, the, the 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 other guy was um, summoned a furry that killed the cat boy. It was rather gruesome, actually. Yep. That was a sexual lobster video. I guess he calls it Greasy Tails now. Uh, he, yeah, yeah. Sexual lobster got renamed to to uh, Greasy Tails. Mm. Cool. We arrived at Glith. Let's uh, dock at Mingwabi. Uh, looks like our taxes are, uh, 495. We've got to pay at the government building. So let's go to the, let's go to the Council of Elders. This is Skyrim, by the way. See the Council of Elders? All right, is this digitized man. The cool thing about, uh, this, this age is people literally just took, they took people's pictures and then, uh, digitized them. So, uh, that's the goofy shit that you get in this game. Uh, pay my taxes. Thank you for paying your taxes. Good. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're going to collect our reward. That's just 4,400 gold. Excellent. We should be able to use that to, uh, get some new regging. Let's see how the, um, uh, the, the Skyrider Tavern... My goodness. No, no. Uh, the storehouse? Cool. We'll, we'll look at the cargo later. Hold on. Uh, general store. How you doing? What do you sell at the general store? Brown cloak, boots, arrows, scimitar, small shield, elfin chainmail? I don't think so. I don't think so, sir. Okay, so the village healer. Um, wow, they can't, eat, they can't revive the dead here. Like, th reviving the dead and curing level drain are like the two primary reasons you would uh, come to a healer. Ah, oh, well. They suck. Okay. Let's go to the Skyrider Tavern and inquire about work. A young foppish lad with curly hair, expensive looking silk velvet clothing approaches jeweled saber, and he seeks passage to Waterdeep. Okay. How much you pay? 3300 Fine, we're going to Waterdeep. Waterdeep's our next uh, trip there. Yep. That's awesome. So, uh, what's next? Uh, we'll listen for rumors. Some folks build ships out of bone, glass, or live plants. But what about boots? What about boots? I don't... Yeah, I can't even resurrect the dead. What a loser. It's true. It's true. All right. Well, um, let's go check the, um, the storehouse and see if there's any cargo. There are no jobs available right now. That's fine. That, that's not a problem. Okay, we're going to Waterdeep. Waterdeep's not in this... This is Glyph. This is the planet Glyph. You're thinking of a different... Um, a uh, different planet. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna pay our crew their wages. And, yeah, if you, they walk, by the way, if you don't pay them their wages. It sucks. It, 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 no indentured servitude here. What a shame. Alright, let's see here. Save game. Uh, save six, seven. Save seven. Yes. Back into spell. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. Spell is good, so... Go, I'm just gonna go spell one here. I'm gonna make sure that it's it's good. Let's double check. Uh, load to save game. 
Oh, uh, it's in the parent directory. Fuck. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm very confused. I'm always very confused. As I go back, left and right. There we go. That's the proper save. We did it. Okay. Wait. Oh, it says loading game. Because I'm stupid. Wow. I almost uh, loaded the game. That's great. Seven it is. Okay. Let's, do let's go back to load and make sure that it's there. Cool. There, yep, seven's there. Awesome. All right. Well, we got to go back to Toral now. So we're going to navigate. Uh, Toral should be like way up there. Oh, geez. That's a different planet that I couldn't see. Oh, because we're in the outer planets. Go to the inner planets and Toral's right there. Cool. Let's, uh, let's spell jam to our destination. I mean, there are extra points of interest. Those are just the main planets we know about right now for, for the map. There, there are, like, literally, if we go here and we click on uh, point of interest here, hold on, it should be uh, navigate. And it's like point of interest, like, you haven't found any yet. See? So we, we don't we don't have uh, points of interest at the moment. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So there, there's the inner planets, outer planets, and um, I'm going to say, like, this, the system itself. Yeah. So, like, this right here would be... Uh, uh, where we were, yeah, Garden, Camdos. We're leaving Glyth right now, but then there's like the inner planets and outer planets, and then yeah, there's, there's extra points of interest. There's also a new course we can set. Oh boy, don't care about any of that though. Our, our main uh, goal is to go to the inner planets to uh, whoops, not the not that. Uh, set new course to uh, a Toral. Yes, yeah, so we're going to Toral. That's fine. Yep. Very good. Very good. My goodness. Everyone should, um, as a kid, play Super Mario Brothers. Other games, debatable. But Tetris and Super Mario Brothers are what kids should play. Everything else is, uh, debatable. Alright. Hold on a second, I'm moving some stuff around. Okay. We're almost there. We're just, uh, we're heading to Waterdeep. Uh, I'm afraid I don't have any Sailor Mercuries. I got a couple Sailor Jupiters, though. Th this is a, uh, this is a ramen topper. In other words, like, when you, when you make instant ramen, which I haven't done in, like, two years now. But, uh, assuming, like, you make instant ramen... You're supposed to put this on the uh, t on the lid so that it doesn't uh, peel up. Yep. Ah, jeez. We've arrived at our destination. That's a dirty lie. Destination none? What the hell? Okay, we, we I got confused. Confused it again. Inner planets. Uh, Toral, yes. Take me to Toral, you bastards. Okay. Will I return to Twitch? Depends on uh, how the uh, Twitch staff behave. All right. At present, I am disgusted by them. Uh huh. Still confused. We're gonna stop for a second. We're gonna save the current game under eight. Bell eight. And then, bam. How did the crew level e even matter? What are you talking about? We haven't boarded an enemy ship yet. There, There's ground combat. All, all their shit matter. Uh, what the hell? I went back there. Oh, I didn't double click it. That explains everything. They didn't pay their taxes, yes. So it should take us an hour to get to Toral. I don't know why. Okay, apparently we've, we've arrived at Toral, but Toral is gone. Like, I'm, I'm already looking at these amazing bugs going, what is this game? Okay, so let's look around for Toral. Let's, let's actually, like, navigate space for it visually and see if we can find it. Because it said Toral's supposed to be here. I ain't seeing shit. 
So far, uh, it's like, what do you mean the planet isn't here? <laughs> yeah, this is quite strange. Toral should be here. Like, I'm, I'm not that far off, so. Let's go spell, yeah, let's navigate. Let's just go over to... Kolinar's there, and Toral's supposed to be here. So if we, we set a, a, a course there, and then we spell jam to our destination, and then we go back. Like, if, if okay, we're gonna, we're gonna stop for a second, and now we're gonna try to navigate back, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. The Gaming Nano, uh, thanks um, for joining, I appreciate it. Now, what was I saying? To be fair, planets move. They move a lot, actually. It's just, it isn't, like, I'm, I'm looking at my, th this should rotate, so I don't know, star system. Okay, that's Toral, right there. Polinar is right next to it, so if we, we go to, uh, uh, set new course, hold on, we're just gonna locate Toral, yeah, that's Toral, so we spell jam to our destination, it should be right here. Mm-hmm, see that bit, you can navigate to it, oh boy, yep. So, it looks like Toral's supposed to be, like, right here. And for whatever reason, about 23 hours. The fuck? Okay. I can't remember why. Uh, pro I probably said something inflammatory, or I might have been one of the many few games I uh, played. Don't know. Hmm. I, I, I play a uh, good variety of games. So you may have found something you liked and I played it once for like 10 minutes and <laughs> then never played it again. Uh, here we go. We, we've, oh, I've gained a level. That's right. Cool. You see, flying around, you, uh, you level up as a captain. So that's awesome. We actually arrived at Toral. Now we have to dock at Waterdeep. So, uh, yeah. And you notice that Waterdeep charges 770 gold in taxes. It's great. You better pay your taxes. So we're going to the Council of Lords in Waterdeep to pay our taxes. That's right. Oh boy. We're, we're A-OK. -okay. My goodness. Mm-hmm. A list of favorite mods. I mean, I upload uh, consistently lists of the mods I'm using. You can go uh, check out uh, my webby site. I've got a recent uh, Oblivion mod list already. Stroke, stroke. My goodness. Is every job delivery jobs? No, we're, we're trying to avoid uh, combat jobs right now. Yes. Thankfully, we earn more money as our level goes up, and the taxes stay the same. Meaning that when we become um, when we become one of the one percent, taxes basically don't matter anymore. They they become like uh, they become a pittance as we start earning more money. In the beginning, they're the um, uh, they're the barrier to entry. Uh, you, sh you should just be able to go to my... Uh, whoops. <laughs> I knocked a thing over. It's smart. Okay. It was a cup. An empty cup, but a cup nonetheless. Yes. Whoops. Okay. So, what was I saying? I, yeah, yeah. Um, as far as that goes, like on my YouTube channel, there should be a... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> there should be a uh, series of links on the main channel. Okay. Anyway. Uh, collect reward. Yes, 3,300. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, Daggerfall's uh, really fun with um, mods, obviously. All right. Ahem. <laughs> A good is DXVK for Oblivion. Well, it improves the game. There's no downside to it. Only upsides. Alright. Do, do, do. All, uh, are you talking about Star Explorers? Because Star Explorers is fun. Absolutely. Now, let's go ahead and um, 
have a look, see at what we have available. We're going to go to the, um, the Harbor Master. Hello there. I'd like to repair any hull damage. No hull damage? Okay. What about modifying the hull? If we increase the hull's thickness, that might be nice. But let's see about armor plating it. Okay, so that'd be 120,000. Uh, That's just a little more than I'm willing to go with. How about netting? Just some netting. Mm -hmm. That. Oh, hello. Harbor Master. Uh, modify ship's hull. Netting. Netting's already installed. Extra rigging? 4,000. We should probably go with extra rigging. Probably a good idea. Yep, let's do it. Fuck it. We, yep, we've added extra rigging to the ship. So, um, that's pretty good. We could buy our own uh, galleon or dragonfly. Dra dragonflies suck. They're like, oh, you, you fucked up and now you have no money whatsoever? Um, the dragonfly is all you're going to be able to pilot. It's uh, awful. Ballistas, yes. Uh, catapults, things like that. Like a heavy ballista. Now, honestly, uh, a couple light ballistas should do. Yep. Okay, repair ships armament. Yeah, everything's good. So, you can see if we pull this up, uh, our, our ship is the USS Catboy. It's a galleon. It has uh, air quality is fresh. Uh, it's got a minor helm. Maneuverability is A ranking. And uh, it can only land in water. So, uh, there we go. A Linkle mod for Tears of the Kingdom. Well, I'd have to play Tears of the Kingdom first. That, that That's for sure. I'd, I'd have to do that. But uh, thankfully, our ship is made of thick wood. Everything is right with the world. All right. Let's... Uh, first things first, we're going to head on over to the Ale House. Where this wino is um, kind of looking shifty back and forth. Like, yeah, he, he'll do that. Really important. Okay. Yeah, there, there you go. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and inquire about work. Uh, tinker known by the name of Longbottom Greybottle. Uh, ima imagine being named Longbottom Greybottle. Sounds like he should have a place on the, uh, the USS Catboy. Holy fuck. Okay, what do we got here? Jeez. Come to this plant to collect some blue rocks and modify a... Oh, spell jamming helm. Now he's collected a sack full of stones, which is to book passage to Glyph. Uh, 2,300. That's fine. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll accept the job. Very good. Now let's see if we can get something else at Glyph. Uh, for Glyph. Let's go to the shipping depot. I'd like to pick up some cargo if possible. That is going to Clive's Den. And yeah, let's go ahead and head over to, let's just take this to Clive's Den, fuck it. A A Glyph, then Clive's Den in that order. Yes. My goodness. It's great, just great. Let me, I'll see here. He uh, really does, doesn't he? Okay, we'll accept the job. So we've got two locations to visit. That's fine. Seeing if there's anything else we want. Uh, looks like... Uh, I don't know. We should be fine. This, this is ridiculous. So, let's just get out of here. And uh, thank you for paying your taxes. Yes. Council of Lords pay... You, you owe no taxes. Damn right. We, uh, we, we have already earned our rewards. So let's get out of here. We're exiting Toro. 44, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Crew happily board the ship. All right. Are they modeled after the programmers? They are modeled after real people. Don't know if they're the programmers or not. But uh, they are digitized faces, so... Uh, let's leave orbit. And then save the game. Under spell nine. Yes. There we go. Bell 9 saved. We are heading uh, to Glyph and then uh, to Garden. So we're going to navigate over to Glyph. We're going to the Outer Planets and then... Whoops, not points of interest. New course. 
So it should be N. There's Glyth. Okay. So we're heading to Glyth right now. We're going to spell jam to our destination. We're going to avoid combat still, I think. Um, at least until we finish this mission. Not sure what we'll want to do in general, but we've been... Uh, uh, Asteroid, fuck! Uh, no, you don't! Okay. Yep. We're too close to an asteroid field to spell jam. Well, hell. Avoid the asteroids. Okay. So we avoided the asteroids. Just, a, j j there's more. Okay, we're leaving the asteroid field. Awesome. Let's spell jam to Glyph now. Nope, we're still close to the asteroid field to spell jam. So, oh God. We nearly smacked into that asteroid. We're fine, we're fine. It said we're leaving and then two more rocks showed up. Uh, okay, now we can start uh, uh, spell jam to, yeah, uh, to, to Glyph. We're in wild space. It's important shit. We're set. Hell yeah. Kick back, relax. It's about two days journey. This game is Spelljammer, Pirates of Realm Space. Yes. All right. Let's dock at Mingwabi. It's uh, 567 gold in taxes. Pay at the government building. All right, Council of Elders. Take your blood money. Collect my reward. Damn right. We collected our money. Will there be space dragons? That's a very good question. And the Skydiver Tavern's gonna tell me about work. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, several years ago, a ship named the Man by Black Bart, one of the most notorious pirates of all time, was destroyed in the void above Koliar. Uh, Black Bart's dying words were that he would get revenge on those who killed them. In the last few months, uh, yes. I, I, I don't know what the job is. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, I, 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 just, I just accepted the job without reading it because I, I accidentally clicked a bunch of times. That's me being bad. Okay, let's, 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 let's read this. So, um... Attacking vessels. I, I have to I have to kill an undead ghost ship. We're fucked. Well, let's go die just to kind of show this off. That, that'll be fun. Okay. We're going to exit. Okay. okay yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're going to Kolinar right now, and we're going to fucking die. Yeah. All right. Take me to Kolinar, everybody. New course. N for new. It's it's an inner planet, not an outer planet. Wait, there it was. There it is. Good. Spell jam. We're gonna die. It's gonna be great. I saved the game, so I'm not too concerned about this. After I die, we'll exit the game, though, because sometimes your bad statuses can carry over. What? Oh, it's an evil undead ghost ship! It's an evil undead ghost ship! Dude, here we go. Fuck! Come on! I'm screwed. Gonna die. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Too far away to grapple, Captain. Kermit, thanks for joining. I appreciate it. I'm terrified, but I appreciate it. I'm terrified of this. Ah, oh, jeez. I can't slow him down. We've been hit for two damage. Too far away to grapple still. Why? It's got rear-mounted cannons. This is this is nuts. 
Still too far away to grapple. Come on. Yeah, this is this is uh, a little nuts. We're all, almost close enough to grapple. Chase, that's a big ship. It hit me with all three of its uh, main attacks. I think we got him. Yeah, we we can't grapple because for whatever reason. But uh, hey, I think we won. We're gonna do it. We're gonna kill the ghosts. Ghost ship, go away. We did it. Enemy ship destroyed. Okay. That's it then. I didn't expect to win, but uh, we didn't get any cargo. So I'm actually very concerned. Normally, you uh, board the enemy ship and then fight them, but I knew I couldn't do that. So I'm gonna have to repair my ship and it's gonna be expensive. I mean, that said, we killed a ghost ship and that's awesome. Now, um, as far as our job goes, let's read it. Okay, so, uh, Ming Lobby on Glyph. So we gotta go back to Glyph, in other words. But well, we successfully defeated our, uh, uh, our ghost pirate. They're technically liches and mummies, not actually ghosts, but it's still funny. All right, let's go ahead and navigate back to Glyph then in the outer system. Should be down here-ish. Yeah, that, that's Glyph, good. Let's spell jam back there. Awesome. So, uh, you don't know if dead people have a lot of use for cargo? Yeah. And they aren't actually, um, they aren't actually boarding enemy ships. They're just killing the crews. Like they're, they're destroying the enemy ships directly. So they probably didn't get a lot of plunder because they're, you know, Keep a log of ghost kills for tax purposes. You aren't wrong. You really aren't wrong. Mm. Yes, it's good shit. We're almost at Glyph. I can see the planet now. So let's go pay taxes again. I'm not joking, there's no cooldown. Every time you dock, you gotta pay taxes. Yes. Okay, Council of Elders, here's your taxes. Thank you for paying your taxes. Okay. Uh, let's see here, collect my reward. Yes, 4,000. I need to repair my ship. Do you have any ship facilities? You have none. You have no ship facilities whatsoever. Holy fuck. This is, this is not good. Okay. Well, we're going to take our money. Um, actually, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to take our money. We're going to see if they have uh, any um, anything there. Yeah. That's how the man gets you. Jeez. I mean, is the... Is this giant government complex actually the man? I, I, don't, I don't think that... Um, like, it's all going to be AI run in the future, DB. So it won't be the man, it'll be the system. A, a cold, uncaring machine that fucks with you for no other reason than it was programmed to do so. That That's our future. Alright. <clears throat> Inquire about work. Actually, let's look at rumors. Asteroid cities are okay. But only groundlings know how to throw a party. I say. What's the goal of the game? You do enough work that uh, if we go over to the village, he uh, not village healer, you go over to the, the, like, the Council of Elders. See so where it says seek an audience with the governor? You do enough work and uh, the governor goes like, shit, I need to talk to you. And he gives you a quest. And then it starts like a quest chain. And you finish that quest chain. Then the next governor says, holy shit, I need to talk to you. And then once you do, like, uh, eventually it starts a quote-unquote main quest, but you, you need to be a uh, higher level for that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's good stuff. Okay. Uh, tavern. Let's inquire about work. 
There we go. A uh, sinister looking man, clothed in dark robes and smoking staff uh, in one hand and a satchel in the other approaches you. Um, he uh, adds that he's willing to pay 300. He needs, he needs to go to Toral. Okay. Well, I need I need the dock facilities in Toral. So this is great. Like, hell yeah. Let's do it. What are deep in Toral? Yeah, yeah. We're, go we're going back to Toral. That's that's lovely. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're set. Um, anything else? My goodness. Protest. No, it's, it's kind of like why I'm not playing Diablo 4. It feels, uh, it feels bad, man. That, that, that's basically it. Is, uh, like, I'm not expecting to, uh, affect change. I just think that Twitch feels icky right now. Like, when, um, you know, to ha have your, uh, ha like, Twitch is taking its taxes, everybody. See, t Twitch was giving you s given seventy percent, and now it's giving fifty percent. So they're they're taking their taxes. But in addition to that, uh, there's also a bunch of um, uh, what do you call it? Um, there's also a bunch of issues like where the the, the Twitch staff went to other people's uh, live streams and harassed them. You know, they couldn't be banned because they were Twitch staffs. Uh, Anything else about Kick? Yeah, Kick looks pretty cool. I mean, it's being run by the gambling people who are kicked off of Twitch, and they aren't necessarily following the laws in the countries they operate. And um, yeah, you know, they're they're trying to get people to do slots in video poker, basically. That that's. But hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true though. It's true. T uh, Twitch is uh, uh, taking more taxes than they used to, and. Uh, yeah, Twitch is getting icky lately. Exactly. It feels disgusting to be associated with them because of uh, what they've been doing lately. And and their their goals seem to be to make money at the expense of the average person. So it's not that I'm protesting. I'm not trying to affect change. I just don't feel comfortable being associated with them right now, if that makes sense. They've been, they've been they've done like there's been like five scandals, like like rapid fire. And I'm just like I might go back to Twitch. But give me a couple weeks or months. You know what I mean? Uh, a kick is Twitch with blackjack and hookers. That's funny. Jeez. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I think we're going. Yeah, I, I think we're good. So, uh, the storehouse. Gonna pick up some cargo, maybe. Uh, you haven't delivered my current... Oh, shit! Uh, you're on the wrong planet, buddy! <laughs> Hold on, I, I gotta screenshot that shit. <laughs> okay, that that's that's perfect. Holy fuck. Okay. You're on the wrong planet, buddy. <laughs> oh, glorious. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm definitely not opposed to thinking about kick, but yeah, yeah. It's um Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm let me see. Boo, doo, doo, doo. Steam. Why the fuck would you use Steam when the game's on GOG? Good old games. Yep. Okay. So, ahem. Let's go. You're on the wrong planet, buddy. Oh, boy. Let's see where else we're going. Council of Eldars. No, no, we can leave. Yep. Okay. We paid our crew. Now we're going north. Uh, did I say? Yeah, we're leaving orbit. And our next goal, if we look at our cargo, we should be able to check our manifest. Uh, it should be under ship. For those who don't know, this galleon is the USS Catboy. It, uh, it's using a minor helm, which means basically it's being powered off of a cleric's energy. A, a cleric is, uh, like offering up his mana to make the ship work. Um, there's minor helms, major helms. There's, um, like, a, called a, a, like a chain helm where it's like one helm. After, like it's a bunch of people, like, uh, kind of, um, uh, like chaining their mana together. And then there's uh, there's like a slave helm where it just you, you pick one person and you just drain their life energy. You kill them. 
That's the mind flayers you use. You typically don't want to use that because it's kind of terrible. But uh, that that's a different matter. It, like that, basically, the slave helm you can get a, a low grade fighter, non magic user at all, no mana at all, and just drain his life. And um, that's really fucking. That's that, it's fucked up, M morally reprehensible, and um, absolutely the the most efficient way to handle it if you are uh, an evil person. Now uh, we're chaotic neutral, so we can do all the things. But, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I think we're good. Now then, um, let me see what I, what else we got. Uh, repairs. No repair material in cargo. Well, there no repairs for us. Let's uh, navigate on up to uh, garden. Where the hell is garden? There's garden. Okay. Let's uh, spell jam to our destination. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, bum. Yep. Very good. You can see we're going to pass the sun on our way there. It's no problem. Generating an encounter. Ha, ha, ha. Goodbye. I'm not participating in that. Thank you. I'm running away. Running away! I know there's a ship off port, but I'm already damaged from my last fight. I'm at half health. So I don't want to die a horrible death. Which is gonna happen, so. We just gotta keep going until we're out of combat. It's easy peasy. Ahem. <clears throat> hey, yeah. Uh But yeah, Diablo 4 is an interesting uh, a situation because, um, yeah, they want to charge $70 for a uh, a, a very, uh, a, a, like, the, actual, the core game is good, but then it hits the end game, and it's sad days for all. Uh, let me let me pull up the, uh, my, my Diablo 4 go-to uh, meme. I, I have a, I have a specific meme I pull up every time we talk about Diablo 4 because it, it just uh, it encapsulates uh, why I'm uh, unhappy about it <clears throat> uh, because like get I will pay seventy dollars or have this shit in the game but not both come on so well, that, that's kind of the weird situation we're in if I mute that here we go. Battle pass, the battle pass, the battle pass, the battle pass, the battle pass, like the battle pass, battle pass, battle pass, of the battle pass, 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 no, that's battle pass, battle pass, excited about with the shop, 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 and the shop, the shop, buy the battle pass, shop, you can buy, you can the shop, buy, battle pass, buy, battle pass, shop, shop, you battle pass, battle pass, no paper power, no paper power at all, shop and battle pass, battle pass, the shop, 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 the shop, 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 shop is trying to show you things that you want to buy, shop, shop. Shop, 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 the shop. There you go. And that that's uh my view of Diablo 4 right now. Alright. Give me a sec. Shenanigans. Alright, um the the wife is uh sees a spider and is going kill it, kill it, kill it. So, um give me a sec. She literally just messaged me through Discord. Be back in a sec.
All right. <clears throat> Ow. I, I, I smacked into the microphone stand. It was great. Top quality content. Let me see here. Kill the Red Roach. Yeah, it's, um, it wasn't there by the time I got there. It apparently, like, crawled out the window or something. I don't fucking know. Like, it wasn't there when I got there. So I, I spent, like, a couple minutes looking for it. I'm like, sorry, I can't kill what I can't find. That simple. It despawned, okay? Uh, 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 you want video game terminology, the spider despawned, okay? Now then, let's go ahead and turn the game sound back on. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Bell jam! 12 days! Adjusting course to avoid the sun! <laughs> of course, of course. My goodness. Who would have thought that? Don't you guys have phones people would monetize the heavily full price? Yeah, yeah exactly. That's why I'm saying I'm not interested in it. Yeah, that, that, that's... <laughs> that, that's what I'm talking about, though. Like, it, it doesn't surprise me. I'm just shrugging. Like, as every every person comes to me and goes, like, You're, you're, you're gonna play Diablo 4? I'm like, not really, no. I'm... I, I, playing Record of Lotus War right now, which is a Diablo-like, uh, and then I'm going to be playing uh, Path of Exile when the next League pops. But, uh, for the most part, Blizzard can fuck off and die. Uh, as far as it's, um, it's, uh, what do you call it? Uh, profit scheme. Yeah, it's profit schemes. Uh, starboard supports that way. Starboard's that. So I just keep going straight. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Yep. Spider never existed. She just wanted to see you. I mean... No, she's, she's pretty straightforward when she just wants to see me. She doesn't require uh, any pretense. So I'll, I'll go over. It's fine. You gotta wonder what kind of uh, toxic relationship where that would be true, though. That's kind of scary, actually, where people don't communicate. Seriously. Like... No, that, 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 that's fucking frightening, being with... Uh, like, the, the, the concept of being with someone who, like... Who, who uses deception in the relationship. It's like, oh my god. That would be horrible. Okay. Now then, spell damn to destination. Go, 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 go. But, um, we were childhood friends before we, uh, lost touch with each other and then met again in college. So, um, it's, um,. Yeah, let's see, uh... Why Activision Blizzard guys haven't made Bobby a Fall Guy yet? I don't know. They, they've been giving him bonuses and shit. Mr. Kotick is, uh... Oh, shit, no! Anchor! Turn around! Turn around! Glyph is right here! Spell Jam! Do it! No! No! Stop it! Bell jam manually. <laughs> I have gained a level. I, I took control of the ship and moved it slightly over. That is an amazing experience. Level up. All right. Okay. So save. It's, can't save while docked. Then fucking leave orbit. <laughs> All right, seriously, though. Uh, yeah, nine, so it should be spell zero... One, zero, like that. Dot GSF. Take me there. Fuck. Uh, zero, zero, one... Uh, zero, like that. Yes. Okay. Cool. 
level up tax? I don't think so. But uh, if we look at our, our crew here, we are currently level seven and we have a lot of experience. We got good stats and very happy about it. Um, yep, we, we are A-OK. -okay. We, we are still an unknown in terms of our prestige though. We have to get our prestige up so that we can uh, do things. You'd rather continue playing Diablo 2 with Pluggy? I understand that, but keep in mind, like I have, I have Record of Lotus War to play. Uh, Path of Exile comes out with its leagues. Um, it, assuming I finish, um, assuming I finish Record of Lotus War, I got like Grim Dawn to play, Titan's Quest, you know, a bunch of other games that are Diablo likes. Uh, on the other side, I kind of want to play a little bit of Minecraft. Um, I haven't played Minecraft in a while. I specifically have a mod, like a mod loadout for RL, RL Craft setup. I want it to be like a single player experience. I don't, I don't want it to pander to the children. Fuck off, children! Um, it, it's, it should just be a fun action adventure Minecraft game. Um, and, and it's degenerate, of course, is typical. Uh, let me see here. Uh, yes. I have, uh, green, uh, uh HP. Yes. My goodness. But yeah, my, uh, my current, uh, my current, uh, horrible memes with Minecraft is, um, uh, I, I've got, I've got the full cat boy set up, as you can see. It is, is completely and totally degenerate. And, and yet it plays like an action adventure game with exploration of cities and stuff. I'm really happy about it. Seriously. Yeah. Anyway, uh, moving along. So, um, what else we got? Yeah, every, everything should be good. Like, uh, I'll check the prestige of Grendel real quick. My goodness. Uh, yes, first mate there. Why not? Wait, so content creators don't have to be babysitters? I know, right? The cat boys aren't that degenerate. I, I mean, I'm doing my best here, okay? I'm, do I'm doing my best. Okay, let's let's get going. Um, hmm. Sorry, I'm just looking at all this nonsense going. Oh boy, we get we gotta get back to the planet. How do I do that? Exit and move forward. Take me to the planet. There we go. We're going. We're gonna dock at Clive's den. Has Curse uh, Forge fixed their stuff? I don't know. I'm gonna use my old loadout. I'm not gonna change it. This is this is called the Garden. It's a bunch of little planets, all ruled by Clive. So we're going to Clive's den. We're gonna pay him one thousand three hundred fucking bullshit to to exist here. Okay, borrowed <laughs> Ogan's borrowed goods. I'm gonna drop off my cargo, and I'm pay I'm paid more than the taxes, just barely. Holy fuck! That cargo was barely even worth it. That's nuts. Uh, let's let's go ahead and view my job. Okay, so basically we just got to get back to Toral and then our job's done. So in the meantime, um, we gotta go see Clive the Fearsome. This this is Clive and <laughs> who rules over the garden. Yep. Um, how many games do you think Todd will make? So I originally thought that Todd was going to retire after Starfield because Starfield was his space game that he wanted to make in 2001. Seriously, back in 2001, he talked about making his space RPG. Anyway, um, I thought he was going to retire after that, but he's apparently sticking around, so I don't fucking know. Todd doesn't need to work. You see, when Microsoft bought out ZeniMax, they bought all of Todd's shares in ZeniMax, meaning Todd is a multimillionaire. Todd doesn't need to do shit. He, he, if he's making games, it's because he wants to make games, okay? And the moment Microsoft makes it tough on him, he'll just tell them to fuck off. It's that simple. Like, Todd does not need to work anymore. Just keep that in mind. He works because he wants to. Anyway, uh, pay taxes. We're gonna pay Clive's horrible taxes. Holy fuck. Thank you for paying your taxes. All right, let's let's get going. So, mm-hmm. Okay. 
Olav's armory. Kind of. I guess there's no armory. I, no armor I really want right now. Um, Aldo's supplies. Hello, sir. What do you sell? Nothing I want. Got it. There is nothing here for me. We're going to leave Clive's den now. Jeez, we have to pay our yeah. We have to pay our crew eighty-eight. That's just nuts. Okay, <clears throat> it's fine though. We're leaving orbit. We're going back to Toro, uh, Toriel, Tor Toral, Toral, Toral. Yes, to Toriel. Uh, should be like right here, the blue one. Yeah, that's that's where Waterdeep is. Let's go. Let's spell jam to Waterdeep. Yes. It's fine. Kick back, relax. This is a casual space adventure. Can wizards use armor? No, this uses a modified version of Dungeons and Dragons one, uh, one's rule set. It's modified to act kind of like advanced Dungeons and Dragons, you know, the, uh, the second edition, but the, like the core that it's being homebrewed off of is D and D one. So, uh, it's, uh, it's really kind of fucked. Because you see, the engine itself uses D and D one's rules, but it's been modified using uh, like A D and D stuff. Don't don't fucking know. I, I don't understand how the rules work uh, explicitly, but uh, Gold Box was almost entirely operated using uh, the, like the first gen rules. Just shrug and go whatever. Um, let me see. Microsoft banking on Starfield a lot. Uh, he might need to walk away if this goes badly. And that's true, but what I'm saying is, even if he gambles and loses, he's got so much in the bank that he doesn't need to work if he doesn't want to. Like, everything he makes these days is going to be a passion project. Yeah. And that's fine. Okay. Icewind Dale. Yeah, Icewind Dale's a good game. Let me uh, get some things set up here. Oh, boy. Okay. So, we're going to dock at Waterdeep. Actually, hold on. I'm going to leave Orbit. I'm going to save uh, current game. And we're going to go to Spell 011. I'm just going to make basically infinite saves. It's fine. These are these are like a couple kilobytes a piece. It's not like Skyrim. Dock at Waterdeep, 770 taxes. It's fine. Go to the Council of Lords and pay our taxes. Yes, thank you for paying your taxes. Okay, we're set. Now claim our reward: 3,150 gold for a job well done. Damn right. Um, that should be about it. Let me uh, have a look here. We're going to go over to the, uh, not the shipping depot, but the harbor master. We need to repair our hull. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, we need to repair all 18 hull points, yes. That's it? Y you cannot afford to repair your ship. Wait, what? Did that seriously take, like, all my money? A am, am, I, am I destitute now? Can I not pay my taxes? Uh, specifications for vessel. The hull is almost fully repaired, but my main concern is that, um... Okay. I'm gonna view me. Hmm. I may not have any money. I may have spent it all. This is not great. Okay, well... We're gonna find out in just a second. I saved it before we did this, of course, but yeah, I know I can't save load well docked. Here we go then. What do we sell? Can't sell our ballistas, it's fine. I I'm scared. I'm scared. Abba Masta! Uh fir first things first, we're gonna go to the ale house. Look at this guy in his mustache though. He's a wino. It's kind of terrifying. Inquire about work. Elderly man approaches you is one of the council elders. Okay, uh, illithid ships from neighboring Glyph have become more hostile lately. Number of skirmishes. 
uh, mind flayers tasting uh, defenses. So you, uh, would like you to hire you as a mercenary of sorts to go attack and several, destroy several mind flayer vessels. Two thousand GP. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I'm, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna decline this job. Yeah, it's uh. I'm just gonna go to the uh, shipping depot and pick up some cargo. Yeah, we're heading to Kolinar. That's that's fine. Yeah, Anathir and Kolinar. Let's go. I accept the job. Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, crew wages. Yes. Cool. We paid the crew their wages. We should be fine. We just need to go to Anathar and deliver this uh, this cargo, and we should be fine. Uh, yeah. I. Who's gonna? Yeah, if at my level, like multiple mind flayer ships. No, thank you. No, no, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are going to go over to um, uh, specifications for vessel repairs. Uh, yeah, I have, I have no repair material. I'm just, yeah. Let's just head over to Colinar. Fuck it. Um, new course. Aldra, uh, Colinar, right there. Yeah, let's go. Travel me there. Spell jam to my destination. Crew paycheck, yes. True, we have to pay our crew members. You can't pilot the ship alone. I mean, I could, in, in theory, like, I could, I could do a dragonfly, which is worth, uh, like, a terrible, like, one-man ship. It, it, it's possible. My goodness. Gonna be sad when the Todd era ends and the uh, Emil Pagliarulo era begin. No, I'm joking. They're, they're like, we have no idea who's gonna take over. But yeah. All right. Let's go. Leave orbit. Save game. And we're gonna save under 12. I save every time because I'm nuts. All right, let's just spell jam back there. And Athanar. 1,000 taxes. Chase. Okay, first things first, we're gonna go over to the storage company and drop off our cargo. Paid 1,000 GP. He's so happy, look at the bird man. He's just so excited. All right. Uh -huh. Shrine. It's a bird man. He can raise the dead and restore lost levels. He's already better than most people. Uh, let me see here. Storage company, supply shop, cutting edge. Okay. First things first. We're going to look at our setup. Uh, what's our cargo status? I have no cargo. That's fine. Uh, weapon status. We got a uh, few ballistas and catapults. That's fine. Repairs. Yeah, we don't have repair materials. Let's see. Captain's log. It's like all, all the things we did. What's this? Uh, no damage to the enemy ship. We, a mind spider. Uh, disengaged. Indeed. Squid ship disengaged. Yeah, I'm looking at my at the things that happened there. Yep. Mind spider disengaged. Death spider disengaged. Uh, where, where, where's me killing the ghost ship? I, I know I killed the ghost ship somewhere. Hold on. Squid ship, mine spider, death spider, asteroid field, no damage to the ship. Uh, Navalor, destroyed the enemy ship, sustained some damage, no crew lost. Awesome. What's wrong with that? Emil Pagliarulo? Oh, for, he spent the longest time as a, um, uh, what do you call it? He spent the longest time as quote unquote lead writer, and the things he wrote were kind of bad. And then he went on a, um, uh, like a like a development talk where he talked to people about um about the um what do you call it um uh, about his like development method and it was like super amateur like you know uh, it, it's just something where you don't want to do that it's uh like keep it simple stupid yeah 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 He's basically a bad writer who's been put into the a bad writing position 
where he should be instead working on level design. You know, that that's what he was hired for. He was a level designer, a quest designer. He'd, he'd do, like, simple quests, mechanical stuff. Yeah, exactly. If you give him a, a complicated story, they'll make paper airplanes. E exactly, exactly. He's, he's making RPGs, and he's making them for, like, casual, casuals, yes. So the result is, for someone who actually wants some, um... Any kind of like depth of world building and stuff. Instead, they get uh, they they get very mild tacos for normies. Don't get me wrong, I like Skyrim and I like Fallout 4. I just don't like them for the things that people praise them for, <laughs> which is the the story is bad. But like Wasteland Ho Ho Wasteland Hobo uh, Trash Man Simulator is good. Um, what's it called? Um. You know, like, Skyrim is is a fun little, like, hand-waggly action adventure. But yes, he doesn't understand how people work well enough to write a compelling story. I don't know about... I don't know how he, how he understands people, okay? But I do know that his goal is never to write a complex story, and so no complex stories ever get written. And instead, it's, it's all very basic. It's, it's funny, though, because there are parts of Fallout 4 that I would consider... A bordering on genius and so, some of them aren't even stolen from um, what do you call it um, Blade Runner so, some of them aren't even stolen but I think they're unintentional moments that's what I'm trying to say I, I, I think that, that they are unintentional moments that are really really good in Fallout 4 and it's just like oh god why Anyway, let's go over to the Congress building and pay our taxes. Yes. You now owe 18 GP in taxes. We're fucked. Yeah, yeah, we're fucked. We, we spent all our money repairing stuff, so I'm actually going to tell the yeah, 33, 30 of your crew walks. So our, our crew walked. We're actually going to reload before we did that. So we're going to go over to 10 instead. Like, um, 11 was our previous trip. Let's, let's go load to 11. Hold on, let's figure out where we are. Okay. Um, we basically, we, we ran out of money. And it's my fault. Because I spent all of it on repairing the ship. Stupidly. Um, I don't know where my money is. Okay, this is, we still have, this is when we arrived at Waterdeep the first time. Good. So, so we're gonna, we're gonna dock at Waterdeep, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend all my money repairing. Turns out I have to be careful, yes. Yeah, the the dance dilemma in uh, Fallout 4 was pretty good. That was that was a piece of uh I think unintentionally good uh dialogue. Like we say very often Bethesda can't write good dialogue, but that there was there was a good part here. Hold on. Yes. Um Hold on. Let me find it here. Mm hmm. I was looking for a very specific thing. Um, typing it in right now. Yeah. I, I, I can't find it. Hold on a second. Um, there was a scene in Fallout 4... Where Dance was... Yeah, Dance and Maxton. Yes, yes, yes. That's the one. I was looking for it specifically. Um, Let me see here. H hold on, hold on. Okay, it's killing Maxton during the blind betrayal. Um... I was trying to find the actual, like, dialogue for it. And, um, God, there's a lot of nonsense here. Um, hold on. This is going to take me a moment. Oof. Oof is all I got to say about that. Okay, I'm clicking into this. And more importantly, I have to, I have to go to YouTube's. I have to go to YouTube.com and pull it out. So, YouTube to history, and I, I know I've seen the video before, so we'll, we'll we'll check. Hold on, dance should be ah I I think I got the video. I found it. Okay, I'm throwing it up into a new tab, and uh, okay, so 
in the womb of a yeah this is unintentionally good dialogue uh, or someone snuck this in because most of fallout 4 is not to this level here hold on. i'm pulling it up now he's not a thing he's one of your best men have you taken leave of your senses dance isn't a man it's a machine an automaton created by the institute it wasn't born from the womb of a loving mother it was grown within the cold confines of a laboratory. Flesh is flesh. Machine is machine. The two were never meant to intertwine. By attempting to play God, the Institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond measure. After all I've done for the Brotherhood, all the blood I've spilled in our name, how can you say that about You're me? the physical embodiment of what we hate most. Technology that's gone too far. Look around you, Dance. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that litter the wasteland. Millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. They called it a new frontier and pushing the envelope, completely disregarding the repercussions. Can't you see the same thing is happening again? You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. Anyway, yeah, point is that you get a taste of pretty competent uh, dialogue writing there, and then you get dumped back into uh, Fallout 4 being Fallout 4. Don't get me wrong, I like the Wasteland Hobo Simulator. I enjoy it, you know, go going around collecting trash and building things. It's, it's dumb and fun, but, uh, that, yeah, it's super interesting just how, how they... Uh, it could have been. Could have been. Now, let me see here. What else we got? <clears throat> what else? Um, all right. We're good. We're set. Took a moment. Okay. I'm um, going to turn the game back on now. Yep. The DLC island was cool. Yes. But that had a core gameplay loop that had you, like, traveling the island, speaking to different people, and deciding the fate of the island. You could do, like, the Far Harbor was a, as little or as much as you wanted it to be. In other words, like, it, it could have been... <laughs> Keep ignoring story structure. <laughs> Keep it simple, yes. Uh, jeez. Th thanks for the $2, Mac. Let's, uh, let's get going. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm contemplating what I need to do now. I guess we'll just go to the planet. Fuck it. Dock at Waterdeep. Yes, yes, yes. We'll pay our taxes first. So we don't owe any taxes. Council of Lords, pay your damn taxes. Right, we paid our taxes. Next, we are going to collect our reward. Um... Then we're going to see about repairing our ship and noting that we can't repair all of it. So, first things first, uh, alehouse, uh, harbormaster, there we go. We need to repair our ship's hull damage. We're going to repair 10, uh, 10 points of hull damage out of 18 possible. Yeah, we're going to repair 10. Good. Now, if we go to buy, you'll notice we're down to 8,000 gold, but we've repaired over half the damage on our ship, so this will be fine. Uh, do you think uh, Starfield's main story will be good? So, here's the thing. I don't know if Starfield's main story will be good, because, um, how, how do I put this? Um, said so no membership? What are you talking about? There are members, uh, Steam Bob. Maybe you're in a, uh, maybe you're in a, uh, country that doesn't... No, I'm fucking no. <laughs> it seems odd. Okay. Audio is loud compared to the microphone. I believe it. Give me a sec. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Da, 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 da. So, yeah, yeah. Um, holy fuck. Okay, so... I don't know if Starfield's story is going to be good. I do know, though, that Starfield's story is... As presented in the trailer, because the trailer is all we have to go on... It is not great yeah it's um how do i put this Th there are two video games 
And four. Wow, you guys are really far behind. Like, I. I yeah, I'm, I'm gonna end the stream and put up a new one that's better. That <laughs> that that has faster interactions, cause yeah, everyone's really far behind, and it's it's my my bad. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna end up uh, creating a new stream, but let me let me finish really quick. So, um, as far as um, as far as like Starfield goes, like I've I've played two video games and I've read four sci-fi novels that use the same premise. So the premise is um boring. It's old hat. Like I've I've seen it before. So it's gonna be in the execution whether it's good or bad. But the premise itself is 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 yawning. It's Snorfield. Not you know what I mean. But that said, all the game systems looked fucking awesome, right? I, I liked all the all the systems I saw. Um, yeah. You're worried it'll be another Messiah figure? What are you talking about? You're the only one who the artifact is talking to. <laughs> uh, so it's up to you to find the other artifacts. I'm not joking. The artifact chose you. You aren't a messiah per se, but you are you are the one that the artifact is compatible with. That, that's that's why that's how you're the special person in Starfield. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, 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 anyway. Um thank you all for watching. I'll be back in like two minutes. I'm gonna go get some coffee. I'm gonna go stretch my legs. And I'll start a new stream of of this, because, you know, fuck it. I, I want to play more of this. Be right back.